Yeah, welcome to On The Surf. This is the family on this channel. We're talking about boat stuff in general, boat life, boat life with kids, how it works with kids on the boat, how it works with dogs on the boat, boat maintenance and boat restoration and boat repairs and basically boat life in general. Please subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost a thing, it's free, but it helps me out and keeps my motivation going. So please hit that subscribe button. Give the videos a thumbs up if you like the content. And if you don't, leave a comment below. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell. Yeah, <clears throat> today we're gonna mount a new compass and First thing, find out where it, where we want it. I want it about here, but how do you make it, you know, show your actual heading? Because if you twist it a bit, you're gonna get it wrong and don't end up where we want to end up so I'm gonna show you how to align the compass to show your actual heading in the end of this video I'm gonna show you how big of uh, a difference if you get the compass a couple of degrees wrong so let's get to it. Yeah, if you have an uh, open boat, it's much much easier because the first thing you need to find out is where is the center of the boat. That means directly above the keel. So if you have an open boat, it's you know, just hook up a line from the bow of a boat and to the center of the transom and you're done. But in a boat like this it's a lot harder and takes a little bit of measuring. So I'm gonna show you my setup. So what I've done is hooked up a line to the rudder stock because I know that's directly in the keel so that is center of the boat and just follow the line to this pole and I know that one is directly above the keel and in 100% level because this is the mast stand support, so that one is straight, horizontal 90 degrees from the keel. So I hooked up a line from there and to the center stock. And there is nothing straighter than a tension line. And as you can see, the line is perfectly centered to that thing and that thing is actually the compass from the factory so yeah they did this with the factory specs of the boat so I know that one is perfectly centered but now we're not gonna have the compass here we're gonna have it here because yeah actually when you're standing here you can't see the compass heading, so you have to move because this one you can only see from the top. I've just kept it for yeah, nostalgic. So now we're gonna take that compass away temporarily, move that line up here so we can measure. So first just to make sure, have your um, compass in your hand and take off the watch and other metals so you can get a um, heading 
without any distortion and now we're gonna put it where we want it to be and to check that it doesn't move and let's see there we want it and as you can see we have the windscreen wiper over there close to it so turn it on keep a close eye on the compass and see if it moves perfect now we know we can mount it there and now we're just gonna make it a line so that's that's one degree wrong and that's about five yeah we're gonna align it first and then I'm gonna show you what will happen if you get it a couple of degrees wrong yeah I actually changed my mind I want the compass to be here so I uh, just let do the same things again and there is no distortion so now we're gonna calculate a straight 90 degree angle so we get it in line with the center and yeah it's basically yeah it's just basic math Pythagoras you can calculate but you need this distance and this distance and then you can calculate what the distance should be in C so let's find out I've made two marks on the center line and that is 30 centimeters exactly <clears throat> so we are gonna say Yeah, there is a um, yeah, calculator on the web, so we just measure A and B, crunching the numbers, and it's calculating out C. I'm gonna leave a link to that below, but just measure it out. And keep it, you know, simple numbers. So 70. And I'm just gonna put a dot at 70. Yeah, and now it's just to crunch in those numbers in that little sheeting guide. So I'll be back. Yeah, and after crunching in those numbers, I get that the C should be 76.16 centimeters to get this square, this corner, perfectly 90 degrees. So now it's just to measure from here to that little dot and find out find 76.16 and then cross measure so you still have 70 and just move this little dot around until you have both A70 and C76.16 centimeters.
now we have one dot and now we're gonna make one a little bit further away so we can draw a straight line so we're gonna say that a is 25 is 75 instead I got when A is 75 instead so C should be 80.78 and now just to do it again it's a little bit time consuming but it's yeah quite easy as long as you have this helping calculating guide and it take a little bit of measuring but yeah it has to be done and when you have done the first one you can Guess you have a, have a little bit of help because just eyeballing in where the center is because you have one dot and you know where you started so yeah you get the first dot you know about close so you don't have to move the dot so many times I don't know if you see it on the video but now we have a line from here to here that's perfectly 90 degrees out from the keel the boat's center line so now it's just to mount it stainless screws don't use anything else because Anything else is magnetic and will you know make the compass point wrong. Before you tighten the screws, make sure it's perfectly aligned with the line you draw. It's a little bit of wiggle room in the holes, so you can make, you know, the final small adjustments when you mount it.
Ta-da! Now you have a perfectly aligned compass. Now it's just hook up the wires so we get light in the compass. Just drill a hole and connect it to something. So now I connected up the light to the compass and I also put in switches for the voltmeters so they aren't on all the time. They draw a little bit of power but yeah I don't need to have them on all the time especially when I'm not in the boat so yeah actually right now in the winter the solar panel isn't putting out so much power so this meter can actually drain the battery if you're not charging it so that's why I put in some switches and that one is for the light to the compass and yeah something like that perfect and as you can see the starter battery is gone totally let's see if I can get the camera to focus as you can see the needle is barely moving I have 8 volts on the battery so that means that one is yeah it has given up but that doesn't matter I knew that battery wasn't so good so I I already planning on switching that one out so yeah let's just turn everything off and next one is probably gonna be yeah so that's one compass totally 100% mounted and true heading In the next episode it's gonna, probably going to be about switching the batteries and redoing or at least make the electricity wiring a little bit nicer on the boat because right now it's a total mess and that needs to be done so that's probably going to be the next episode so stay tuned and don't forget to Tell your friends, share this, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's free, it doesn't cost you a thing, but it helps me out a little bit. So, if you like this episode, give it a thumbs up, and if you don't, make a comment below. And yeah, all my I solder all my connections, so if you want to see and know how to do that leave a comment below and I will do an episode about that because soldered connections never oxide and always have a good connection so all my connections in the boats are soldered and heat shrinked stay tuned for the next episode see you in a while it's New Year's Eve soon so yeah, probably gonna be at least one more week until a new episode is coming out. Sorry for that. Christmas came along, so I didn't have time to make some boat work. So that's why I didn't put up any episode last week. Sorry for that. But a lot of boat work is coming up. So... Stay tuned, like and subscribe, see you next week, hopefully.